Brutal Grifter has kind of an insane threshold for Allegiance Oz. You kind of don't need to be at very high Allegiance Oz at all to run Brutal Grifter. If you need a Plunder Trigger. Why is Dredge Dragger even semi-good? Because he just like levels up your, your Maokai. Like these decks just want to be leveling up as fast as possible basically. While slowing the game down and it's just a good way to do that. Probably a full mole. I don't want to keep any of these cards I think. Swain Darius Gangplank. Okay, this is a good hand. Drag, Dredway, and Blighted Caretaker is sweet. You can use Caretaker on what, like the Powder Keg? Caretaker into Powder Keg is pretty cool. It's like, yeah, you're, you're getting uh, you're getting good good Maokai conditions. Okay, okay. Legion size though. <clears throat> Did he just say, eat that trash, eat that trash? That's what I heard. Wait, that's not actually what he's saying, is it? Eat that ass. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy to just play a deckhand here, right? Deckhand is pretty flexible. It's like we've got we've got a lot of ways to just like abuse this opener. We actually have like a really really nuts opener. <laughs> he eats trash. It takes a special sort to make complete garbage of perfectly seaworthy gear. No. So he's literal he's literally a trash eater. Makes sense. I don't know. I mean am I am I the aggressor here? I'm not really supposed to care about Nexus Health, but this blighted caretaker is threatening a lot of damage. I don't know, he could like do some AoE on me. I'll just chill. I kinda wanna keep the uh the make it rain option as well, if he does something weird. It's like this this deck kinda can't be worried about weird stuff like Nexus Health. <laughs> <laughs> Nexus health. God, imagine. Imagine hearing about a useless resource like that. I mean, putting both kegs on the board at the same time feels bad, though. I'll just, like, maximize this Make It Rain. I like I like this card's ability to just kind of, like, stall out early games a bit. <clears throat> In terms of flip conditions, how big of a difference is 25 cards tossed and you are deep? Um... If they don't break... Do you mean Maokai's? Because Maokai is, is either tossed or units have died. There's nothing for like 25 units tossed, right? I mean, I think I just make it right now, honestly. It's like, keeps my Nexus health a bit higher. Why not? So make it rain stops this effect from going off. Because if it doesn't get to deal damage, it doesn't get to target anything. So it just fizzles. We get to protect a little bit of our health, which is kind of nice. It's not necessarily super useful. I can play Malka here. He tends to be very safe on a, a board state like this. And of course we've got, you know, follow up with second Maker Rain or Dread Away into second Maker Rain or Caretaker. We've just got all kinds of follow up basically. So we can Caretaker in, we can Deckhand into Caretaker. Looks pretty good. We just want to basically like trade down the board if he has a lot of things. But with Saplings, we kind of like, I don't know if we actually need Caretaker when we have Saplings. Also, we have no room for this play. Good old Maokai. Always deny plunder triggers. Yeah, being able to deny plunder triggers is a pretty big deal for a lot of these decks now. Yeah, I mean, we're not we're not really the aggressor here. I don't know, he's at 9 health, so it might feel like we're the aggressor here. This is very strange. Yeah, I guess I'll just swing into him. Okay, Death Lotus plus Death Sand. So he's committing to keep the demolitionist alive. Hey, this works for me. I kind of wanted my entire board to die, actually. I mean, Nexus Health really doesn't matter for me. I mean, it's kind of nice sometimes. It would take a very, very weird game for this deck to be, like, taking a win off of Nexus Health that it wasn't going to get otherwise. It's kind of like the big thing. Because this deck will win via Nexus Health sometimes, but usually when that's happening, it also would have won with the other condition otherwise anyway, right? <clears throat> Success gets you noticed around here. Okay, okay. That's that's kinda cute. That's kinda cute. I mean Mac guys are our biggest unit, so Noxus will not conquer the Shadow Isles. Curious you think we'd seek to. He basically should just uh <clears throat> go in with the Swain. We get a unit <sighs> off of Maokai so we get the free thing and then we want to make it rain after that so it's just kind of like the easiest 20 toad of my life I think I have learned to that looks good lore what do they say to each other? I don't even know they knew each other 
Yeah, I mean, he has to go for the Maokai with the Swain, I think. It would be very greedy not to do that. I mean... Okay. That seems okay. <clears throat> Maokai being flippable here is kind of nice. But, yeah, I mean, his Swain's gonna get a flip. So we can get kind of like the free glimpse target. Man, this Maokai is being a little slow. Got these plunders. Pilfer goods. Our combo, our combo condition is kind of getting there. I mean, we're still healing off of like Thorny Toad as well. <clears throat> Drag dredges, there we go. Summon more saplings. If I kill this and summon two saplings, and it's net two units, and then Maokai is the net third unit. I mean, I might force him into an awkward position if he has to protect his Nexus health, I guess. I don't know. If he if he does something, he can stun the strongest backer enemy, which is always going to be a sapling, basically, no matter what I play. I mean, we're just trying to flip the Maokai as soon as possible, which I think just means caretaker here. For what they did to you. All that matters now is the little ones. So we go for the triple sapling play, the triple sapling double toss, and we we go in for a big swing. We're at 19 out of 25, and this Maokai is basically flipping here. Am I gonna get banned for exploiting the bug between you and me? Probably not. <sighs> okay, so we pretty much just want to get a full swing in here. The one downside of attacking with Maokai is we just like basically feed the game to a death lotus for no reason for literally no reason like actually truly zero no reason to do that okay i can try this we'll see how this works take some make it rain it's trying to hit my maokai okay i will break so it takes this stun on my maokai it's 20 21 22 and then drag to level it up but we don't get to Yordle here, which is kind of the problem. But yeah. So his his deck is now at the four cards here. So he should only have this turn to kill me. He sh it should literally be his last turn to kill me here. Because we have the we have the full kill combo in our hand. I don't know if he does some kind of like spooky open attack though. That could be pretty big. Like. He could he could attach some spook to this open attack. So I kind of want to black market merchant first. I'll do this first. It just gives me better options. Because it's the draw two instead. Okay, I don't black market merchant. Oh. Oh, oh he's running pilfered goods. Oh, that's that's neat. I Oh, that's Oh, cool! Well, a toast to you, good sir. <laughs> what the oh, Jesus! Wow. Yeah, this is this is a pretty toxic deck, guys. Oh, that was neat. 